Hey there! So by the time you're watching this, I will be probably like eight hours away from my house. Which, if you don't know, is where I film. So, uh, I'm going to be on a church trip for... until next Monday. And then I also pre-filmed the rest of the videos for July, just because... I need time to work when I come back, but I'm going to be on a church trip. The specific one is Presbyterian Triennium, which is going to be at Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. So if you're going to be there, hello, you're going to know a not famous YouTuber. Uh, it's going to be cool. It's going to be lit. I'm sure there will be lots of literature. Anyway, so I wanted to talk about why I'm going on this church trip and why church trips are important in general. Obviously, if you're not a Christian, you're probably going to not think they're as important as I will. So, church trips are designed with the intent of being a place to live out our faith. Um, church trips can usually, or at least church trips for teens, can usually be split into two groups. Mission trips and what are called conference trips. Uh, so mission trips are pretty self-explanatory. They're trips where you go do mission. And they're often service trips, which can include, like, building projects or working with kids. Whatever. They are all about impacting the world in the way Christ would if he was here. They're about serving others and in the process being served ourselves. Uh, so mission trips are like super cool. Triennium is not a mission trip. Triennium is a conference trip. And those are a little harder to convince people uh, that they're necessary and good for faith. But, you know, I think that they're very important and I think it's frankly, something adults should do. So conference trips are where you go and you talk and it, it, I don't know, it's like a conference. So there are meetings with everybody, gatherings, then meetings with smaller groups, uh, a lot of individual time. I don't know the specifics because I've never been on Triennium and I've tried avoiding a lot of information about it because I kind of want to go in blind a little bit. I know a little bit just because I don't want to go in totally blind but I don't want to know a bunch. So um, conference trips really vary based upon what the organization is setting out to achieve. Um, for example Merge, a trip I've talked about on this channel that has radically influenced my life is designed to foster community and shared storytelling and is intentionally very small, like 100 people max. Triennium, on the other hand, I think is intended to be just a visual of the global church because it is like 6,000 people strong and they're from all over the world. So I'm complaining about driving for 11 hours when people are, like, flying across oceans to get to this thing. It's fine. Um, and so church trips are... conference trips really vary, but they all are set out... They all set out to sort of reaffirm our faith. To either expose us to new concepts, or strengthen relationships, or just deepen our faith in some way. A lot of times they do this through multiple facets, through lectures, through uh, worship services, and through uh, hands-on activities are like three things I'm thinking of off the top of my head. And so I go on I go on church trips to further my faith uh, and to live life the way I feel called to live life by Christ. So a mission trip, that's very obvious. A, uh, I go on a conference trip because I want to strengthen my faith, or I 
want to connect with other Christians um, and see what their faith looks like in different parts of the world. For me as an individual, I'm also going on behalf of my church at large. I'm doing some weird thing where I'm like writing Facebook posts every day chronicling what's going on. Just sort of a liaison. Uh, which is why I get to bring my laptop so I get to upload and I may or may not be filming pieces of a vlog. We'll see how it goes. But I just wanted to let you all know why I feel compelled to go on this trip and why I have sort of jumped ship for a week from my life. So that's that. Um, I won't be responding to comments this week. Maybe not next week. I don't know. It's just too much uh, for me to juggle. I don't even really know if I'll have time to upload or not. So. I hope you have a great day.